All right, so if you guys saw my first video on the Vault-Tec LifePod, you're already gonna know that I'm a fan of this little portable travel safe. Well, at least that's what I used it for as a travel safe. Well, Vault-Tec just released the brand new LifePod 2.0. So what do I think about it? Let's check it out. So let's first check out the box that the brand new LifePod 2.0 comes in. And already you guys can probably tell that this thing is a lot bigger than the original LifePod. So you can see right here on the front, it says airtight, water resistant, and lockable. Check out some of the features here on the side of the box. It says it now features handguns up to 9.25 inches. Carry your passport, wallet, IDs, obviously your phone, your EDC gear, and then you can put your medicine and then check out what it says right here on the top. It goes over larger size handguns, 9.25. 0.25 inches like I already said down here, but it now comes with an interior tray I'm going to show you that once I open this bad boy up and another welcome addition and now has LED lighting Let me get a nice look at the back of the box here But I'm gonna go over all this stuff once I get inside of the life pod But what's interesting is right here on the very corner It says water resistant airtight dust proof and floats with a two pound low But if you read at the bottom it now says submersible up to three feet up to 30 minutes. Now the previous light pod was only IP65 rated, which would mean it's not submersible. So three feet up to 30 minutes is IP67. So already that's a pretty good upgrade from the original light pod to the 2.0 here. So that's enough of this box. So let's take out this bad boy and get ourselves our first look at the brand new life pod. 2.0 right here. We have ourselves a little trap door right here. It looks like it's an owner's manual and our safety cable. But let's take all that out. Throw this box over there somewhere. All right, so let's give you guys a nice close up of the brand new Voltec Life Pod 2.0. And first impressions are the exact same thing I thought when I pulled out the original Life Pod. It feels pretty sturdy. This does not feel like a cheap piece of plastic. It's made of high intensity polymer, but it just doesn't feel plasticky. And it feels like it can take a beating. And I know that firsthand because I've had the original Life Pod for a while, and this has gone on many trips with me. And in, yeah, I've dropped it a few times and it just keeps running. So if the brand new 2.0 is anything like the original, this is gonna be pretty durable. And it's made of the same material, so there's no reason why it shouldn't be. You can see it has that same grippy texture texture as we saw on the original light pod right there so give you guys a nice side by side and while I'm doing a side by side let's see if I can give you a nice size comparison because I know a lot of people are curious at the side by side so here's the original and the 2.0 side by side right there you can see it's just much bigger and then here we go I just locked it by accident, but here's a nice side profile. And then from the back. And other than just being much bigger, the aesthetics are almost exactly the same, except they changed their little logo right here. We had the same four digit capacitive keypad on the bottom there. And then we have the same compression locks on each side as we saw on the original LifePod. Just much bigger on the 2.0. And then on the bottom, we have the same four rubberized feet. So when it's on my table, yeah. I mean, it's not immovable, but it's still pretty grippy on both of them. And now let's take a look under this little flap here and see if it looks the same on both models, which it sort of looks like it is. That's what it looks like on the original LifePod. We have our micro USB and key port. And then right here on the LifePod 2.0, it looks to be the exact micro USB and key port. So right here in the front, we have our same four digit capacitive keypad with a little lock in the middle. To unlock it, press it, enter your code, latch unlocks, undo the dual compression latches, and then 
we can get inside of the life pod here. And as soon as we open it up, you can see the newest thing that they included this year is this removable tray. So I can already see that this tray would be very useful for any EDC gear. You can put your knives, wallets, flashlights, even your phone. And they included these little Velcro straps right here. You can just unstrap it put whatever you want in there, strap it down, and it won't move while you're transporting it. So this is a pretty cool addition that they gave us with the brand new 2.0. And then what else is in here? We have our standard foam piece, and then looks like we have two more thin pieces of foam on the bottom, and that's it. And then check out the inside here. It looks like we have that same rubberized gasket as we saw on the original Life Pod. And just checking it out, everything else looks to be almost exactly the same here. Right here is where we put our nine volt battery to power everything, and right over here we have our program button. And then right next to that is our key lock, but we'll go over that shortly. And then right here you can see another addition to the 2.0 is our LED light. And then if I flip this around right here on the top, we have our security latch and this thing right here I'm not exactly sure what that is and if you look on the original light pod I don't see that at all so not exactly sure what that does but I'm gonna give you guys a nice close-up of the inside of the original light pod in the 2.0 and you can see the differences right here to me they look almost exactly the same and then right here on the 2.0 we have two slots that's for the carry handle which I don't have because they're all sold out so I couldn't get my hands on one but you can see on the original, we only had one and that was for the tether or the security cable. But it looks to me, if you use the handle, you can't use the security strap because there's only two of them here. So once the handle's in there, there's nowhere else to put that security cable. So it looks like you can carry this with the handle and then when you get to where you're going, take the handle off, put the security cable on and strap it down to whatever. All right, so now let's lock this up. I'm gonna show you guys something that I noticed when I was locking this, so listen to the sound it makes when I lock it. So check this out. Okay, and now listen to the sound the original Life Pod makes. Hear that? It's much louder in the original. So on the new 2.0, the locking mechanism was a little bit quieter than what we saw on the original here. And another change they made, which I'm really excited about because I disliked it so much on the original Life Pod, is when you press and hold that lock button, the keys stay lit on the keypad a little bit longer than they do on the original Life Pod. And I'll show you the differences here. So if I press the button at the same time, out, Still going, still going, and out. So that just gives you a little more time to enter your code because I can't tell you how many times I pressed this, thought about my code, and then went to enter it and nothing happens when you press it when it's not lit. I know that's a really, really small complaint, but for me, that's just a big upgrade on the brand new 2.0. And on the 2.0, the capacitive keypad is pretty responsive. I've had no issues with the buttons at all, just like the original. I mean, they're very, very responsive. And on the capacitive keypad here, we have the same battery life indicator right there and the same status light indicator. And everything seems to work pretty well, just like it did on the original, so I'm happy about that. All right, so now let's talk about something that's probably been on your mind and you wanna see if they actually fixed it on the brand new 2.0 Life Pod. So a certain lock picking YouTuber who may or may not be a lawyer actually picked the original Life Pod with a fork. And if you guys aren't familiar with what he did, he basically loosened up the compression latches here, couldn't get in, but had enough room here to stick a fork in the side. And the fork actually reached all the way until he hit the program button right there. And once he had that program button held down, he was able to reprogram the keypad and open it up basically getting whatever was inside. So because of that YouTube video, vault -Tec was made aware of a very serious safety concern on the original Life Pod. So did they fix that on the brand new 2.0? Well, check out this little sticker right here that came in the box on the very bottom there. It says, security upgrade, program button disabled when lock engaged. So basically what they did was when the lock is engaged, the program button will not work, which was exactly how he was able to get into this with a fork. So I'm gonna test it out now. So let's just see if this works here. So it has to be unlocked for this to work. So let me show you guys how you would normally program this. It's unlocked, you have to press the lock button and then hold down the program button right here. So hit the lock, hold down the program button, and then you see the little keypads go. Now we can enter our new code 
you hold down the program button again, type in your code, hold down the program button again, and then your code is set. You can see it wants my new code because it lit up those keys. So what they're saying is it won't work when it's locked. So let's lock it. And now if I press this button down and hold in the program button, yeah, it's just flashing with a little beep not letting me program it. So yes, vault did in fact fix that faulty security feature where you can stick a fork in there, hold down the program button, and then enter the safe. All right, now let's do the key test. So let's lock it up and see if we can enter it with the keys here. Locked, get in there with the key, and then boom. Yeah. Keys work great. But remember this little key lock feature on the inside, we can actually turn that on and that prevents the keys from working on the outside. So I'm gonna turn that on, lock it up. And now let's try to open it and see if that anti-lock picking feature works. And yeah, no go. All right, so now let's do a fail safe test if your nine volt battery goes dead. So you can see I just removed the battery. It has absolutely no power. Under this flap here, we have that micro USB port. So if I close this up and give it some power with the micro USB, not exactly sure why they went micro and not USB-C, but there we go. So that's good news. If our battery ever dies, our code, will work perfectly, nice. But yeah, like I was saying, I'm not exactly sure why in 2020 they still gave us a micro USB. Not the end of the world, but just an extra cable you have to carry around since everything else is USB type C these days. And now let's talk about one of my favorite new features, the LED light right there. So as you can see, by default, it's not on. So every time you open it, it's still dark in there. So this is how you activate the LED light. Hit the lock, hold down the one and four, until a little green status light flashes. Now when you close it, you open it up and now we have light. And yes, it does turn off when you close the lid there so you don't have to worry about draining too much power. But vault -Tac does have a warning in its owner's manual that this will drain that nine volt battery a lot faster with that LED light on. So if you wanna turn that LED light off, we have to do the same thing. Hit the lock, one and four, boom. You can see the light is still on until we close the lid. When we open it back up, now the light's off. So as much as I love this new LED light to light up everything that we have in the life pod, I really think the way that we activate it and turn it off is pretty silly. What would have been better and a lot simpler is just a single button on the inside here, maybe next to this program button. Just open it, press the button, and the LED light goes on. And if we want it off, press it again. Instead of this silly process where we have to have the lid close, press the lock button, hold this down, wait, and then open it, and then to turn it back off, the lid has to be closed again, press the button, press those two buttons, and it's off. It just seems like a lot of steps for something that could have been as simple as a single button press on and a single button press off. All right, so now let's talk about the exterior dimensions. It's 12.25 inches by 8.5 inches by 2.875 inches. And the interior dimensions are 9.625 inches by 7.25 inches by 2.125 inches. And now it's a little bit heavier at 3.3 pounds. So you can see right here the size difference differences between the 2.0 and the original. And keep this in mind when you're programming this with your own combination. Even though there's only four keys here, your code can be four to eight digits long. I know there was a lot of confusion in the comment section of my original video. Just because people saw only four keys, they thought it was only a four digit code. No, it can be between four and eight digits long, which makes it much tougher to try to guess the code. All right, so let's check out the interior here. Of course, we have much more room on the inside than we did on the original LifePod. And they say you can store a handgun up to 9.25 inches long, or you can put two subcompacts in here. But if you have a full-size handgun in there, I'm not really sure if this removable tray will fit. And so far, I am really loving this tray here. So you can see I just took that Velcro and threaded it through a couple of these slots right there. Old Light Warrior Mini, put it right there. And we have the Phoenix E35. And yes, I probably made that loop a little too big for the Warrior Mini, but you guys get the idea. I put the strap right next to it right there and strap down the back and there we go. <laughs> All fixed. And they give you two pieces of Velcro right out of the box. You can see as long as you're good at Tetris, 
you can rearrange all your EDC gear right here and fit as much stuff on here as you want. All right, so check out this configuration I have right here. I have two flashlights, a little tiny blade, I have my wallet and an EDC pry bar. Stick that right in there and yeah. Perfect. Having this two-tiered system just makes it so much more convenient to carry a lot more items in this life pod. And having the ability to strap everything down is much appreciated because then all of your EDC gear isn't banging around in there while you're traveling. Also, we have this two-foot security cable. So if you guys saw my video on the original life pod, you know that they gave you a nylon tether instead of an actual cable like this. So what you wanna do just stick it in the little security slot right there, close it shut, lock it up, and now you have yourself a nice little cable. Wrap it around something so nobody can just easily walk away with your brand new life pod. And yes, I actually did grab one accessory. I grabbed the new tactical sling bag right here. And real quick, let's just put the new life pod 2.0 in there. Pretty tight fit, very tight fit. So let's zip it up there and yeah. There we go. But I'm not gonna go over this tactical sling bag too much in this video. I'm actually gonna save that for another video. I'll go over everything and then compare it to the original sling bag as I'm dropping everything on the floor. So stay tuned for that video. If I actually included that in this one, this video would be again 45 minutes long. All right, so overall, I really like what they did with the new LifePod 2.0. I like they didn't really mess with the design too much. I mean, the original LifePod here, was a pretty great travel safe. I love the design of this and I'm glad they didn't mess with it too much on the brand new 2.0. All the same security features are there. In fact, they improved one on the 2.0 by not being able to lock pick it with a fork. I like that they upped the IP rating to an IP67, but that's just speculation. They don't really say 67, but they do say it's dustproof, which would mean the six. And the seven would mean submersion up to three feet for 30 minutes, so. IP67. I like the addition of this brand new removable tray here. And yeah, let's not forget the fact that they made this a lot bigger to hold a lot bigger items. The addition of this LED light was greatly appreciated. And yes, I like the fact that they actually gave us a cable this time, as opposed to the security nylon tether that they gave me with the original LifePod. All right, let's talk about what I don't like about the LifePod 2.0. I don't like how the LED on and off system is kind of fumbly and goofy. I just wish it was a single button press on and a single button press off. And a very small gripe, instead of using micro USB, I wish they'd give us a USB type C. And for $150 making the handle an extra option, I really wish they would have thrown that handle into the whole package. Having a removable handle that attaches right here would have been a huge upgrade. And one last thing I wish they would have done on the 2.0, give us a biometric fingerprint scanner. So instead of putting in my eight digit code, I can just walk up, put my thumb there, unlocks and I can get right into safe. But like I said, overall, I am not regretting my purchase of the LightPod 2.0. I think it's a great little portable safe and I will be taking this with me on every trip I go on. All right guys, that's pretty much it for this video. What do you guys think of the new LifePod 2.0 by vault -Tec? And even though this is a brand new model and not an upgrade to the original LightPod, which one do you prefer? The original LightPod or the much bigger, beefier, more expensive LifePod 2.0. And if you guys wanna check this out for yourself, I will have links below in my description box. No, I am not sponsored by vault -Tec. I purchased this with my own money, just like I bought the original LifePod with my own money and the sling bag. But if you guys did enjoy this video, please give me that thumbs up. Please subscribe and go!